Hey everybody, welcome back to Potty of 7. Today I am back with another cooking video. I am going to be showing you all how to make my famous meatloaf. This is a must have in any household. My kids love it, everybody loves it, and it is so freaking yummy and easy to make, guys. But before we get into the video, I want you to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave some comments down below of some other recipes you guys would like for me to try. All right, guys, let's go on and get into this video. Okay, so before the kids start running through the house, honey, let me go ahead and show you guys how I'm going to be making my meatloaf. We got our meat right here, the beef sirloin. This is freshly ground, that's what they say freshly ground y'all know these stores be lying y'all but go ahead and get y'all this nice little bowl dump both packs in i do have to use two packs of meat because i have a large family so one is not enough y'all just do whatever fits you and your family okay so once my meat is right here in the bowl i'm going to immediately just go ahead and drop in all of my seasonings and all of the ingredients that i do need i know i need my egg Y'all, I wish we left my egg over there, so got my eggs. I'm gonna use two eggs, crack those, and get them in. I feel like I got a rush because, honey, as soon as I was recording, they walked in and was like, we thirsty, we so thirsty. Get out of my house. Like, ugh, I'm trying to cook y'all a nice meal and y'all wanna keep running in and out of the house. Like, y'all need to go and do something with your life. So we're gonna go in with some seasoning salt. We're gonna add a very good, generous amount of seasoning, okay? This is one of those situations, if you're not sneezing, it ain't seasoned, okay? Because baby, it's meat. You gotta season your meat. Now we're gonna put some onion powder in there. We're gonna get that onion powder nice and coated. Then we're gonna use some garlic salt. Go ahead and get that nice and good, baby. Get it nice and good. Cause you know what I'm saying, I'm getting good, I'm gonna get it good. Kanye pepper, cause y'all already know I like me a little bit of heat. Gotta have my heat. Y'all already gonna laugh, but you know what I'm saying? A little basil, a little basil, you know. We gotta act like we're fancy and throw a little basil. And then we're gonna use some ground black pepper. Throw that in there. Whew. I said if you're not sneezing, it ain't seasoned. Saw some sea salt. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all, some sea salt. Y'all gonna get the sea salt? Can I go on and get the sea salt? We're gonna work on that one. But then we're gonna go in with some chicken um, powder. Chicken powder, guys. Like, try it out. No, knock it before you try it. Add you some chicken powder. This is like the stuff that's from like the bouillon cubes. But basically it's just in powder form what i typically like to do is use the top and add like a top full i'm actually going to show you guys this because this is new a lot of people don't do this hopefully y'all can see if y'all can't see it, i don't know to tell you but look dump it in it's good it's gonna it's gonna add it so add it i do my meatloaf a little bit different you know what i'm saying and like i try not to show people all my all my secrets but I think it's I think it's time to show some people that there's some little things you can do for your meals and make it lean on scent. But it's still easy stuff, guys. I don't like difficult meals. I don't got time for it. And then we're gonna use some breadcrumbs. It's gonna when it comes to the breadcrumbs, about like a couple of cups, two cups, three cups, whatever, whatever you want. Okay? I do not measure. I don't measure. You will not see measurements in the bio, okay? Unless it's like something that like I'm baking, I'll probably throw in some measurements or whatnot. But as far as like this moment, no. So now, ooh, let's get everything mixed in. With the egg, we got all the seasonings in here. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all. Yes. Once I get everything mixed into this bowl, all the seasoning saturated really good then i go in and i cut up my peppers and onions i will let you guys know that process here in a second okay 
Okay, so this is where we're going to get into the onions. I am chopping up all of my peppers and onions to nice sizes to throw into my meatloaf that is already mixed up to the side. Um, I did clean all of my peppers and onions, guys, so everything is nicely washed. I'm placing some of it into a bowl. That way I can have room on my plate because, as you guys already know, your girl need a um, cutting board. Like, if you want to give me a cutting board, thank you, thank you in advance. But, yeah. So I'm just cutting up my green onions and finishing up here. We are going to throw all of those peppers and onions straight into the bowl. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just start mixing everything with my hand. Y'all, this is a messy job. Like, I be forgetting to take off my um, engagement ring when I cook sometimes. And then when I get done, I have to, like, really, really clean it because it just be all nasty and yucky. Um, I need to get in the habit of doing that because, y'all, you guys see me digging in. I am one who is not afraid of touching her food, y'all. And I like to make sure that everything's mixed in and coated. I like to make sure that the seasonings are mixed in very well and coated. Got to get the onions everywhere mixed in really well and coated, guys. And this is just a messy job, y'all. And it's a workout, too. So, like, look at me. Look at the muscles for me, okay? I got to get back into cooking um, more meals that require some arm work so I can um, use it as a daily workout versus me not working out at all. But now I'm just going to dump everything into this uh, foil pan. I'm so glad that I decided to do everything in foil pans because, baby, I ain't have to clean a thing. And we still have so much left over usually the kids they want to eat up the food all quick eat everything all up and this one day that i put all this effort into making a really big meal they decided to just eat one plate it really pissed me off but once everything is nice and smushed down guys um i pretty much just make sure that it's ready for the oven i do try to make sure that i'm smushing it very even into that low form and obviously it's going to shrink a little bit so spread it out um around your entire pan if you have to because it's literally going to kind of form and shrink size but yeah so pretty much just washing my hands off and get into the next portion of this video i'm gonna throw in my pepper this has a lot of flavor guys like yes i like to call this a mexican pepper I'm putting my Mexican pepper in with one cup of water to fill the bottom of the pan. I love my meat juicy. I don't give a dang, okay? So put that water at the bottom of the pan so that it can soak that water up and stay very hydrated, okay? Dry meat, mm -mm, it ain't for me. I'm putting some little seasonings like salt, pepper, and onion powder on the top because i just need my extra seasonings like why not there's no reason not to have extra seasoning and look at that it is pretty much ready to go into the oven guys so let's go ahead and do that all right so let's go ahead and make that tomato sauce so i'm going to use some canned tomato sauce i'm putting it into a bowl I'm going to add some of that chicken powder. Y'all see all the seasonings I'm adding, guys. I'm adding some of those seasonings into it and some flour to thicken it up. This has been cooking for about an hour. So we're going to go ahead and top it off with our sauce. Yummy, yummy. That sauce does have like chicken powder, Kanye pepper, salt, pepper, onion powder, whatever. It's all in there. So yeah, very seasoned up. And I'm just going to do this. And I like to use this instead of ketchup because I feel like ketchup gets too thick. And it makes me feel like I'm really, really eating a burger. Even though it's hamburger meat, I don't want to feel like I'm eating a burger. Like, I just don't. So I really like this because it just makes everything come together very light. And it's just really, really good, guys. Just try it this way and trust me. You won't go back to ketchup if you use ketchup. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. all right so i let that cook for about another 30 35 minutes and it is completely done guys look at how good and juicy that is guys i hope you decide to try this recipe make sure you leave some comments down below of other recipes you would like for me to try on this channel check out some other cooking videos there's several things on this channel that you guys can check out like vlogs it's just such a good channel to be on, guys. 
and happy holidays guys i'll see you next time bye guys